these areas off limits. See that our Fletchers have arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Bring those men here. Information. Gidrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Ah, those castle walls won't be thick enough to stop us! Long live Giedrich! None will stop us! are large bolt casters. I must disable them.
more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no moves. We wait. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on, then. Your master of AIDS. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
won't survive. I'm going to raise a flank. The lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds. Dress her in rags and send her out onto the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way. And he won't be alone. Brings up old memories of Barber. He used to love patrol in the back of the village. Grove is a sheep.
You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of the Gat of Gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before, with Sigurd, in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand? What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can serve, serve as Please, no. No secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours, to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, troll woman! Tush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
pray all the gods bless him. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. More, and only because you... Finir, welcome to our home. May you find a second wind here. One to fill your sails and send you across the world and back. That is an image I will fix in my mind, Wolfkist. Happy to be aboard. Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order the Bessam and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map.
Pytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sunbeam. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We'll be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. Avot, you really are a generous one. Looks like something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Nothing else for you today. I must take my leave. So long. Farewell, Abel. I believe it's you, the one fated to save my people. That woman seems to know me. Oh, it's
it's you! Valka said we would meet, but I can hardly believe the great Eivor is fated to save my little Isle of Skye. Who are you? A hat of yourself, as always, Edith. Eivor, Edith is an old friend and a seer. She contacted me for advice. Her people are plagued by nightmares to the point of madness. I wasn't aware people settled on the Isle of Skye. There are small settlements, but it is a place of passage for many, making it perfect for dreams to wreak havoc. Until now, I've mostly been deciphering if my cousin's feasting on feathers in her dreams means she should marry a farmer or a baker. <laughs> You've lost me again. Edith needs your help. And it's not just her people being affected. As someone deeply in tune with the spirit realm, I have also begun to lose sleep. I fear it may spread to our settlement soon. I will investigate, but it is not as if I have experience chasing away bad dreams. There is more. You're not going to like this, Eivor, but I believe somehow Ranmi is involved, perhaps even responsible. I know Ranvi's whereabouts better than most, and she isn't... Ah, uh, what I mean to say is, she couldn't do something like this. Ever since the nightmare started here, I began asking the spirits for clarity, and the vision came to me. Though it was cloudy, I know what I saw. You will find Ranvi amidst a scene of death on the Isle of Skye. The two of you will fight before you are forced to part ways forever. That just can't be true. Believing is your choice. The only way to find the truth and stop the nightmares from spreading is if you go to the Isle of Skye. I must tend to my duties, but Edith can take you when you are ready. So, are you ready? My people can't go without sleep any longer. I'll find out what's plaguing your people. Whatever or whomever it may be. Here we are, the Isle of Skye. Beautiful, isn't it? Any idea why I should go first? Investigate Kilteraglin first. It's where complaints of nightmares began. My hut is there too, if you need to find me. 